Good afternoon, everybody. It's so wonderful to see so many of you here. And pardon my back, our wonderful, talented musicians, and all of you. Uh, You're from the school in Riverdale, and they play. Uh -huh. The holidays are always a special time, right? We always have memories of when we were younger, and we always look forward to this season of joy and blessings and hope for the new year. So we are very uh, delighted that the Flume Ensemble is gracing us with your presence and your wonderful talent. Again, today, they've been here many times. I know the gift of music is such a wonderful gift. It uplifts our spirits. It makes us think of, as I said, wonderful memories, but also what's more important, being together, being together, whether you're here virtually or whether you're here at the center, it's so important for all of us to be together. So we wish you the best. Thank you, uh, members of the Flume Ensemble from Riverdale Country School. I know we're in for a wonderful treat. Yeah. What an amazing introduction. So hello everyone, we are so thrilled to be back again. And thank you so much for welcoming us into the lunch. We had such a great time getting to know a lot of you. And uh, before we get into the concert, we're gonna go around and introduce ourselves just in case um, you do not know some of us. So I'll begin. I'm Claire, I'm in 12th grade and I play the oboe. Hi, I'm Sherry. I play the violin. And I'm also in twelfth grade. Lisa, I'm also in twelfth grade, and I also play the violin. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm in twelfth grade, and I also play the violin. Hi, I'm Annabelle. I'm in eleventh grade, and I play the cello. Hi, I'm Jack. I'm in eleventh grade, and I also play the cello. I am Matthew, I'm in 11th grade, and I play the cello. Oh. <laughs> okay, special. Uh, I don't think you're in 11th yeah. grade. Okay. Actually, I'm the special guest that, you know, I, I, I support the keyboard, so I'm here today. Yeah, it's, yeah, I, I'm so, you know, happy to be here with them. <laughs> but it's not yeah. Yeah. To dedicate this concert to the holiday spirit as holidays such as Christmas and Hanukkah. We've heard of that. He thinks Mike deserves it. He doesn't think. And we hope you enjoy the pieces that we selected, and I'm sure many of them are very familiar. So without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Sherry with our first piece. Okay, to kick off our afternoon, we chose an uplifting melody from the medley of famous Christmas tunes. The holidays are all about celebration and the spread of joy, and what better way is there than using music to perhaps lift these feelings? As you listen, we hope that you transport yourself to a snowy day where you can hear the green jingle of sleigh bells. Please enjoy our rendition of Christmas Melody.
they are also a time to self-reflect, look back and see how far we have come. It is a time to relax and take a step back from our busy lives. Written in 1779, Amazing Grace perfectly captures the essence of looking back at all the battles and hardships we faced throughout the year and celebrating how far we have come and how far we have overcame them. So with that, please enjoy our rendition of Amazing Grace. Thank you.
There's something about the holiday season that makes everyone so excited. So excited that it may even make you dance, or waltz. Written in 1946, the Tennessee waltz immediately gained popularity for its uplifting melody and catchy lyrics. We hope to communicate the spirit of the holiday season that makes you want to dance. Please enjoy the Tennessee waltz. Thank you.
next piece is uh, one that is used worldwide to celebrate the big events from weddings to holidays. Popularized in 1968, the music from Taco Bell's Canning Beauty Beat uh, rises and falls, symbolizing the highs and lows of life. As you listen, we invite you to reminisce around this time of the year as snow begins to fall, homes begin to warm, and time seems to slow down. Please enjoy Taco Bell's Canning.
Wednesday afternoon, we wanted to honor the holiday of Hanukkah, written in 1982 by Peter Yarrow, Light When You Candle, was used as a peace song in response to the Lebanon War. We wanted to share one line from the song. Light one candle to bind us together with peace as the song in our hearts. This is particularly meaningful during the holiday season as we gather with friends to celebrate our cultures. We hope that, the, that with the close of the concert, with the message of peace and hopefulness, uh, comes brighter years. Please enjoy Light One Candle. Oh, <laughs> you, but I thought that was absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. 
who made such a difference for all of us who are on Zoom and all of us who are in this room. And I'm so delighted to hear about next time that there'll be future concerts. Yeah. Um, sharing your gifts with us really makes a difference. Everyone who's attended one of your concerts always remembers us and, and speaks so highly. So on behalf of all of us at RSS, thank you so much. Many blessings in the new year and happy holidays. Yeah. It would be nice to can some of you come up? We'd love to take a picture of you with these guys. Anybody? Thank you so much for sharing the 